Hey guys, welcome to another tabletop warbands painting video! If you're looking for a way to paint crudes, we've got you covered! Before we start, if you are subscribed to the channel, welcome back! If you are not, subscribe, like and activate the bell! And now, let's get started! The base color for the crude is black, it will be easier for us to paint it and give it a darker tone. The first color we are going to use is Death Guard Green, for the model skin. Crudes have dull green skin and the Death Guard's colors match beautifully. Paint with this color all over the skin. I like to be precise right from the start, but if you want to go faster you can use a bigger brush. And don't worry about accidentally painting over other parts, you can always fix them later. Once it dries, the color will look like this. It's quite light at the moment and with no depth, but that will change later. For now, the most important part is covered, we can move on to base the rest. With Rhinox Hide we are going to paint hair. At least I think it's hair, I, I haven't figured it out yet honestly. Anyway, paint the stuff on his head. And on top of that, also paint all the leather parts you want to be dark brown. In this case, I also chose to make trousers and gloves. The crude's clothing is rather shabby and worn, so dark colors work well. Another brown is needed to differentiate a bit, I use Morphang Brown as a base. With this color we can paint all the other leather details left, such as the details on the rifle. The crudes are full of little purses and belts, you can paint those too to contrast with the darker brown of the clothes. With the browns done, the model has most of the surface covered, the cape as you can see hasn't been done yet. With Ragard Flash we take care of the little details of the hair clips, a light color brings some interest to the spikes. Use a brush with a fine tip and try to be precise, but if you paint on brown there is still time to correct. In my case I have nothing else to do with this color, but other crude models have little strings and various details that you can do. As you can see, the Rackard Flash draws a lot of attention to the hair, it makes it look more detailed. There are other small details to paint, and to do that we use Ushap the Bone. Paint the crude's fingernails and toenails, it's pedicure time for our friend, treat him well. Also, paint with this color the small bone spikes that come out of the model skin, usually on the legs and arms. The model is well advanced, but as you can see a rather important part is missing, the cape. For that we use Mephiston Red. I evaluated the idea of doing it in another color, but I think the red goes very well with the green of the skin and the dark colors of the model. Paint the whole cape and pay particular attention to the skin around the neck. Having painted dark colors so far, the red will stand out very much, but we will tone down this color later, the crude must be able to hide well to ambush prey. With the cape completed, the pattern starts to get interesting, but we still have a couple of base colors to use. Left Belcher is the perfect base for painting all metal parts. In this model we can take care of the rifle which is a rather central part. There are other pieces that you can paint, for example the grenades or all the little belt buckles. There are guns or daggers, the crews have no shortage of weapons. Some even have metallic details on the face, you decide what to paint metallic. With the lead belcher done, the model has almost all the base colors fixed, only a couple of details remain. Scrack Brown is a good light brown that can be used to give further diversification to the dull colors of the model, I use it to better define the spikes on his head. With a thin brush I'm going to paint only the most exposed parts of the hair, leaving the dark brown in the recesses. Now the hair is much more interesting and we are left with only one base color that may not be needed for the majority of crude models. If your model has its tongue out, use Nagarot Knight. With this violet we base the tongue being careful not to paint the rest of the mouth. The time has come to perform the magic that everyone has been waiting for. With Agarax Airshade we can begin to give some depth to the colors of the model. 
It's a pleasure to use this shade, because you'll have to pass it all over the model, every single part of the crude, all the basic colors we have given so far. This shade will even out the tone of all the colors we used and give the model a more realistic look, which we don't mind at all. As you can see, the crude is much more beautiful than before. Now comes the fun part, bringing each color to life with highlights. Let's start with the skin and use that dark green again. This time, however, we don't paint all the skin, but only the areas most exposed to light. We'll have another skin color after this one, so leave the underlying dark green in the recesses, but cover most of the skin. Your model should look like this when you're done. The skin has its color again, but in addition it also has depth. To highlight the cape we need a lighter red and we use Evil Sun Scarlet. It's not the lightest red, but it's light enough to work as a highlight on the red darkened by the shade. With a small brush paint all the edges of the cape with this color, all the parts that could be affected by the light. The cape has many of them and they are often quite easy to reach with the brush. When finished, the cape will still have its dull color, but the highlights will have made it much more interesting. Let's take Scrag Brown again, but this time we'll use it to highlight the lighter leather parts, the ones we painted earlier with Morphang Brown. With the light brown done, now let's deal with the dark brown, and for that we go get Morphang Brown again. That's right, we are going to highlight the dark leather with the base color of the light brown. It works great! Highlight any exposed edges of the pants and gloves and any other parts you chose to do dark brown. My crude also has details on the rifle. All browns are completed and the pattern is finally coming to an end. If you have crudes with the tongue out, you can use Pink Horror to give it some importance. It's an additional detail that you can decide to leave out, but any more detail on the face area is welcome. Finally, we got to use Ogre in Camo. With this color, we highlight all the parts exposed to the light of the skin, especially those of the face. Paint only the higher parts, such as the eyebrows, cheekbones and teeth. With this color, you can also highlight the muscles of the arms and legs as well as the fingers and toes. After this color, the skin will be finished and the model will look good. Let's not forget the eyes. With Tross Layer Orange and a very fine brush, we can paint the eyes. Be careful and be precise, so as not to ruin the work you have done on the skin. We have almost reached the end, Rumfang Steel will help us highlight all the metal parts, especially the more visible ones, like the rifle in my case. Paint only the essential edges with this color, the crude rifle will probably not be the cleanest there is, it will be ruined and even rust if you want. Or maybe not, your crude might be the cleanest in the galaxy, the choice is yours. The model is officially finished, all that remains is to use Morphang Brown again, but this time we use it to paint the base. Be careful not to get the feet dirty with this color. Now your crews are ready to dive into the dark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I hope you enjoyed this painting video and that it helped you in choosing colors for your models. And with this we conclude, if you like our content and want to help us grow the channel, we have an account on the platform Buy Me A Coffee where you can support us with donations, any help you can give us to improve the channel is welcome, we are counting on you, the link is in the description. And if you have come this far, write the word SPIKES in the comments to let us know, you are the best! And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel! If you liked the video, leave a like and write us in the comments, we are always curious to know what you think! That's it guys, see you next video!